Hello everyone, my name is Josh. I'm in the bands from Mazd. Our link to our MySpace is going to be in the left hand corner. If you like what I'm about to teach you today, you should go check us, our band out. See how our music is, you know. Leave a comment or something. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play You Somebody by the Kings of William with power chords, which, you know, they don't use power chords in the song, they use bar chords, which for some people it's trying to, you know, that are beginners and trying to learn how to play a guitar, it's hard to play a bar chord because you got to get your whole finger over it and all this messed up crap. Well, um, this is a softer version of the song. It's gonna, of course, it has to be played acoustic like this. I mean, not really, because see, on a guitar, anything can be played anywhere at all times. It's ridiculous, almost ridiculous. For example, um, free falling. There's a thousand different versions to play this song, but I picked this one because it's a little bit better for this setting. You can, you, if the song is played like this, where you go, which is D, G, G, D, A, you can do that with power chords. Easy, you just go. Simple. And the way power chords work, where you find the right power chords, is were the frets, the individual notes on the frets. You have to know how that is, and I'm going to show you real quick how this string works. And for just to keep in note, uh, on the 12th fret, on every string, that note is exactly what the string is. So if this is the E string, the 6th string, then that, the 12th fret, that's an E note. Okay. Now the way it works, I'm going to go real quick up the neck, just to the 12th fret to show you how it works. It goes E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Okay? And how you find power chords is say, for example, you want to find a G and you don't know where it is on the neck yet. On the simple, just like I just said, on the E, on the e string, you go E, F, F sharp, G. Okay, so this fret, six, the 6th string, 3rd fret, that's a G note. Okay, now well, power chord, the real way to play a power chord, you, you, you stick your finger, your uh, index finger, on the 6th fret, the 6th string, 3rd fret. And you take your pinky finger and your ring finger, and you stick your pinky on the 4th string, 5th fret, wow. And then you take your ring finger and you stick it on the 5th uh, string, 5th fret. 5th string, 5th fret. Blah, tongue twister. And that's a G power chord. Now another way to play it, which is kind of a cheating way, that's easy for beginners, you can just take out that 4th string and play the 5th string and push down on the 5th string, 5th fret, and the 6th uh, string, 3rd fret. Just like that, it's a G2. Getting back to the Kings of Leon, um, the song is, oh man, it's a simple, simple song. It's very simple. It only has a few chords in it, so this is a perfect song for beginners to learn how to play. Now, when I sing it, I'm not going to go with the, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, and all that crap. I don't have time for it. I don't have somebody else back me up. It's just me today. Um, this is this is how the song would be played with chords. It would be C. And then E, but you hold down the, the uh, second string. This is the tab I found anyway. The second string, first fret. And that's the E, the C, E. And then do an F. So, I've been running around, I was looking down at all I see. The painted faces fill the places that I can't reach. It kind of, you know, if you're more into the rock aspect of music, that kind of sounds homo. So, what I'm going to teach you today is this, okay, third fret, I mean, yeah, third fret, fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, that's a C. Now, a n normally an E would be way up here, but it's too high, so we're going to go with the, uh, the E down here, which would be, all you do is hold your index finger on the 2nd fret, 5th string. 
and you um, leave the sixth string open because that's an E. Okay, and you use your index finger to mute all the other strings so they don't play, and then you just go. And the last, then that the last note is going to be an F, which is your index finger on the sixth string first fret and your pinky or ring finger on the fifth string third fret. So it's going to sound like this. somebody Verses you go C, E, F, and when he goes into the pre-chorus or the chorus, whatever the heck, I don't know what you call that. You know, I could use somebody. You're gonna go A, C, F. You just take out the uh, the E. So that's something all the way through the song, all the way through the song. I'll, I'll play it through a little bit of the first over for you again. I've been running around, always looking down. down below or click on my MySpace link in the left hand corner corner to go visit our band page. Peace out, y'all have a good one.